Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and in this video I'm going to show you a mobile to desktop workflow working from Adobe Premiere Clip, an app that you can put on your iPhone or iPad, and then export it to Adobe Premiere Pro. So right now I have, as you see, my iographer kit here, and you can see there's an attachable lens. So I was able to get some really high quality shots out here in DC, some B-roll shots as I call it. And um, basically I have the video already stored on my phone, so I'm gonna build the video edit starting in Adobe Premiere Clip, and I'm going to show you how to export it to Premiere Pro CC. Before I get started and dive in and do a screen recording of my iPhone, I want to let you know that I have two extra Editor's Keys skins, which are keyboard shortcuts for MacBook Pro 13 inch and 15 inch, the latest with the touch bar. And so the great thing about these is not only can you learn some shortcuts, but you can also protect your keyboard. So the first two people to comment on this video that want them, I will ship it to you for free. So let's go ahead and dive into Premiere Clip. All right, you guys, I'm inside of my iPhone 6 and I'm going to tap on the Adobe Premiere Clip app and this will launch it open. And from here, it'll take you to your landing page that has all your current projects. To add a project, you're going to click on that plus icon in the upper right hand corner. And here you can select the source from which you want to start your project. So I'm going to select on my iPhone because that's where all of the footage is that I shot with my iographer kit is. And then here you can select videos and select the videos individually, which ones you want to start your project with and then hit add. And this will ask you, do you want to create an automatic video where Premiere Clip will automatically cut the clips to a soundtrack, or you can freeform and edit the clips manually. Because I just want to get this video started quickly, I'm just going to hit automatic. And what this will do is it'll start creating a video with a Premiere Clip theme. You can change the soundtrack if you want. If you click on replace soundtrack, you can choose from Premiere Clip themes uh, that it comes with. If you like, I'm not gonna do that right now. Or you can select a playlist or a song that's currently on your iPhone. So let's hit cancel. If you click on this sort of metronome symbol, it'll allow you to change the pace of the edits to be slower or faster. So let's just go ahead and make it a little bit slower. And then on this last icon here, it'll allow you to change the sequence or the order of the clips. So if you click and hold on a clip, let's say this last one, I can drag it over to the front to make sure that that clip is seen first and so on. Also, if you wanna add more media, you can always hit this add button down below and you can add more media. All right, so let's hit done. Let's go ahead and send this project to Premiere Pro and then we can continue editing from there. To do that, we're gonna hit this upload button in the upper right hand corner and rather than publishing it, or saving it to Dropbox or any of the other options here, I'm just going to click on Send to Premiere Pro CC. And what this will do is it actually starts syncing the project automatically. You can see that there is that spinny circle in the upper left-hand corner. That means that it's currently syncing with Creative Cloud. So let's just go ahead and close that. And also you will see in the lower left-hand corner that there's a purple icon now with a spinning circle. If you click on that, it'll show you what the upload media status is. It's currently at 99%. That's great. And once it's done, Premiere Clip will notify you and say, you're ready to send this project to Premiere Pro. So we just have to wait for that notification. So once we hit done, now let's click back on the project here and it will say it's ready to send to Premiere Pro. Your project is now synced to Creative Cloud and ready to be sent. So let's go ahead and send now, and it will start sending it to Premiere Pro. Okay, so I'm now on my MacBook Pro and I've opened up Premiere Pro CC 2017. Rather than saying open project or new project on this landing page, what you're going to do is go up to file and then select convert Premiere Clip project. Okay, so select that. And then what this will do, it'll show you all of the projects by date and time that you synced to the Creative Cloud. So I'm gonna do the latest one here. And you'll see it's not the standard Premiere Pro project, it's an XML file. So we're going to select that XML file, okay? And hit open. And what this will do is it actually starts to convert the project, it imports all the files. And from here I can add more transitions, 
fine tune and really start to develop my final cut. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also be sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest video trends because I make new video production tutorials every week. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.